And I'm Mr. Klump. And we want to welcome you to Virtual Art and Music Day. We're so happy to be able to come visit you in your classrooms through this video to present all the fun and exciting news we have about the art and music programs at Bethlehem Catholic. I'm the music teacher. I'm the art teacher. And the first thing you'll get to learn about today are the classes that we teach about the fine and performing arts at Bethlehem Catholic. You're also going to get to learn about the activities that you can take part in after school, such as art club, choir, theater, orchestra. Doesn't that sound like fun? It does. <laughs> we also have an activity for you today with band and art. Being my specialty, um, we are going to be learning about Kandinsky and his interactive circles involving music and art. So stay tuned for that later. And in so learning about the music, you're going to hear performances from our band, our orchestra, and our jazz club. And you're going to learn about the interaction between the fine and performing arts here. You're going to get to take home your own art project that Miss Miller is going to lead you through. And before we're done today, there's going to be an introduction of all the different instruments that our students play here at Bethlehem Catholic, and maybe a quiz at the end to see how much you learned. Oh man, a quiz! <laughs> oh, come on, it's going to be a fun quiz, Miss Miller. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you guys are ready. Let's start Virtual Art and Music Day. <laughs> Students, my name is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I create beautiful classical music pieces. But anyways, enough about me. I'm here to talk to you about music appreciation at Bethlehem Catholic. Now I've been told that you will learn about many composers, such as myself, and the pieces they've made. Obviously talking about me will be the best part, but I suppose everyone else is good too. Some of the things you will talk about is the Middle Ages and the Renaissance, and even the Baroque period, which includes many of my inspirations, including Handel and Bach. You will also learn about the Classical period, which includes moi and all of my wonderful music. There's this other kid named Beethoven you'll learn about, too, but he's a little punk. He makes music, too, but he's no better than I am. I assume you'll learn about other musicians after me too, but it's whatever. One piece that you will listen to is this. Which is by, do you know? You guessed it, me! Well, my time is up. Have a good day, little ones! Hi, my name is Brendan. I'm a senior in high school learning music theory. Music theory helps people read and understand music. For example, take a look at these notes. This is a quarter note. This is an eighth note. These two notes are one of the many ways to write down music. They can be written down on music sheets, which helps create music. One of the reasons why I like learning music is because, like many people, I enjoy listening to music, and I want to create music as well. In order to make music, you need notes. Notes, unlike the ones you take during class, describe how high or low a sound will make. There are seven musical notes, and they are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These notes can also be written to make really cool music, like this.
When you learn and understand music, you can start to create your own music through your imagination. You can also share your ideas through music. That's why music theory is such a cool class. Hi, I'm Colin, and I'm the Bethlehem Catholic Band President. And I'm Shad, the Vice President, and we're the leaders of the band. Here at the Bethlehem Catholic Band, we like to play music and have fun and bond with everyone. One of our biggest bonding events are our band trip we take every year, and every four years we get to go to Disney World together. We do various activities together, such as playing at the football games, performing concerts and parades, and meeting up at band camp is where we get to meet all of you and, and learn to about each and every one of us and learn the music. We're not just about the music here in the band. We grow as a family, and we'll hope you join us one day. Here at Art Music Day, we have a fun day of seeing the joys of performing arts and music. I play the drums, for example, and Shad plays the trumpet. And we can tell you firsthand that playing an instrument and enjoying the arts is a great experience. We hope you will join us one day. Thank you. I'm Sarah, and I'm a senior at Becca, and today we're going to be talking about orchestra. What do you guys think is one of the most important parts of orchestra and band? Believe it or not, it's actually just being ready to go. So today, you and I are going to practice being ready to go. So, when the conductor goes like this, it means that everybody gets into their places. When they go like this, Everybody sits up straight, puts their legs shoulder width apart, and gets their instruments into position. So on the count of three, you and I are gonna practice getting ready. In three, two, one. Up, put our shoulders back, our legs shoulder width apart, and our hands on our lap. Let's try this one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, up, perfect. You guys, our future musicians, are now ready to go. So, in orchestra, what we do is we play string instruments, which some of my friends are gonna show you later in the video. Orchestra is a little bit like band, but we're smaller and we're considered a club. So we practice one day a week or twice outside of school and we play at all the concerts and admissions events. It's pretty fun if you ask me. I love being a part of orchestra because I feel that it allows me to bring out my creative side. 
Not everybody wants to play sports all the time. Sometimes we want to explore our other interests. If you guys have an interest in the arts, orchestra may be the perfect thing for you. So, next time you think about joining band, maybe give orchestra a shot too. Band 10, hunt and hit. Hi, I'm Christina, and I am the senior drum major of the Bethlehem Catholic Golden Hawk Marching Band. And I'm Isabella, the junior drum major. Today, we are going to teach you how to come to attention. Everyone stand up and spread your feet shoulder width apart and put your hands behind your back like this. This is called parade rest, and we stay in this position right before we're called to attention. Then when I say band 10 hut, bring your feet together and your hands to your waist, making a fist like this and say, and hit. This is called coming to attention. Now let's try it one more time. Parade rest. Band 10 hut and, and hit. Now let's try it together. Parade rest. Band 10 hut and, and hit. Great job. During marching band, we get to play different events such as football games and parades. During the football games, we perform at halftime and play a field show. To prepare for this field show, we have three weeks of band camp in the summer right before school starts. During this time, we play together, learn how to march, play fun games, and make new friends. Playing music at the football games allows us to show our school spirit and support our student athletes. In the stands, we have a blast playing well-known tunes and shouting chants to encourage our team and the fans. When we take the field for the halftime show, we represent our school with honor and pride. Our shoulders are back, our eyes are up, and our feet in sync. Our enthusiasm for our school activities is never clearer than when we come together to rally our classmates and friends around the game. I hope to see you as a future Golden Hawk Bando. We march at football games, perform at parades, and we perform at the Christmas and spring concerts. Each year, with the other band members, we take a trip to showcase our talents. Hopefully, next year we'll be able to go to Disney World and march down Main Street with Mickey Mouse. Okay, third graders, now we're going to teach you how to march. Stand up, put your, uh, put your left hand on your hip, right hand down at your side, and on the count of eight, we're going to start marching. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great job, guys. Now I'm going to teach you how to lasso. First, you're going to go down and around your head. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and down. Let's put it together. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Great job, guys. I hope you're enjoying your art and music day activities we have planned for you. Hey, everyone. I'm John, and I'm in 10th grade. Now, believe it or not, this snow is very cold. But you know what's even cooler than that? Being a part of the pep band at Bethlehem Catholic, I love being a part of the pep band. Our job, similar to the way the marching band supports the football team, is to support Becca High's other sports programs like basketball, volleyball, soccer, and lacrosse. Pep band events take place after school, and it's a great way to hang out with my friends and play some, some of my favorite tunes while we cheer on the Golden Hawks. Go Hawks! <laughs> As you can see, Sometimes I get a little carried away, but that's the coolest part of being in pep band. I mean, where else can I play my Barry sax and dance with it at the same time and never worry about going viral on... Wait, what? There... Oh, there's a video of that. Oh, well, I may go viral after all. Hey, uh, could we run that one back real quick so that the cool kids watching this can get up and dance along? 
Here we go. Yeah. Come on, get into it. Start jamming out. All right. Now, how awesome was that? Awesome enough to join the pet band? I hope. So, when you get to Becca High, you'll be as cool as me. Now, that's about all I got for you now. So, enjoy the rest of the activities. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm in 12th grade and I play the flute and the piccolo. And I'm Evan. I'm in 11th grade and I play the trumpet and mellophone. You may know the Becca High Band from football games and parades, but did you also know we play in concerts? Every year around Christmas time and springtime, the Becca High Band performs concerts on stage for a live audience in our auditorium. We play all different kinds of music, like famous works from composers like Bach and Mozart, show tunes from Broadway plays, soundtracks from popular movies, and many other things like marches, overtures, and symphonies. <laughs> We like, to, we like to play lots of different types of music, so it's important for us to be able to play in different styles and represent different characters, moods, and time periods in history. For example, we can play at different tempos, fast or slow, different dynamics, loud or soft, or different rhythms, intense or soothing, and we can use these techniques to make the audience feel a whole range of emotions from tearful to joyful. Like I said before, the band puts on at least two concerts every year. And our job as band librarians is to make sure everyone has music to read at every rehearsal so they can practice for the next concert. Next year, as fourth graders, you'll have the opportunity to start learning a band instrument. If you'd like to become a band musician like us, talk to your parents and teachers about joining the band at your school. Thanks for joining us for Virtual Art and Music Day today. When it's safe to be together again, we hope you'll come to see one of our concerts at Becca High. Hello there. Welcome to the Jazz Club, a place filled with friends, fun, and funk. My name is John, and I'm a junior here at Bethlehem Catholic High School. In the next few minutes, I will be introducing you to the wonderful world of jazz. First off, what is jazz? Well, jazz is a style of music that is different from what's normally done today. While it does have written music, a lot of jazz is improvised or made up on the spot, which takes a lot of skill and practice to do. Jazz also swings, which means instead of following a steady beat, one, two, three, four, it swings like this. This small change can make a big difference in the style, but it's one of the things I love most about jazz. So how can you get into jazz? Well, anyone who plays an instrument can also play jazz, as it does not have a limit on choices, with clarinets, trumpets, trombones, saxophones, drums, and even your own voice. You can play or sing jazz to your heart's content. Even with this many choices, every instrument gets a chance to shine. Jazz music gives each player who wants to improvise an opportunity to jam out and show off their talents. So let's jam!
So, what do you think? You like jazz? My name is Molly, and I'm a junior here at Bethlehem Catholic. I'm here to talk to you guys about choir today. Do you like to sing? I know I like to sing. I join choir so I can sing with some of the kids my age. I like to hear our voices join together and sing together. I've also met some of my best friends through choir. At Becca, our choir sings at masses, as well as a special concert during Advent. Today, I'm going to sing a song with you. You probably already know this song. It's called Jesus Loves Me, but I'm going to teach you some sign language to go with it. Are you guys ready to learn some sign language? Our first word is Jesus. So for Jesus, you're going to take your hands and you're going to poke the center of your palm, just like that. Jesus. Our second word is loves. You're going to give yourself a big hug. Our third word's really easy, it's me. You're just gonna point to yourself. So Jesus loves me. Good job. Our next word is no. When you say no, you're gonna point to your head. Good job. Our next word is Bible. For Bible, you're going to pretend that you're opening a book in your hands. Bible. Our next word is tells. For tells, you're going to put your finger on your mouth and point straight out like there's a word coming out of your mouth. Tells. And then after that is me again. Point to yourself. Good job. Let's review so far. Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Good job. Our next word is little children. For little children, you're going to pat like you're patting kids younger than you. So pat, little. Our next word is to him. You're going to point to God. To him and then belong you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna loop them together belong so little ones to him belong good job last line ready they are weak so they you're gonna point around and then weak you're gonna hold your palm flat and just go like this weak. And then he, you're going to point to God again, and strong. Good job. So ready? They are weak, but he is strong. Our last word is really easy. It's the word yes. Ready? You're just going to nod with your fist. Yes. Good job. Let's put it all together and sing with the signs. Everybody stand up. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. 
the Bible tells me so. Good job, guys. If you want to try it again, go ahead and ask your teacher to rewind the video so that you can sing it one more time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your virtual art and music day. Have a great time. Thanks for singing with me. Hi, I'm Shawik Yoder. I'm stage manager of the theater department. I'm sure you're familiar with us here at Bethlehem Catholic. We have the pleasure of performing on stage for you guys every year. And to include kids just like you, we put on a youth Christmas show, an opportunity for you guys to perform on our very stage. We grow close here and learn so much about theater and hope you will join us someday. Happy Art and Music Day. Hi, I'm Noah Ramirez. And I'm Jan Ramirez. And we're part of the Bethlehem Catholic Pit Orchestra. Our main job in the pit is to provide live music to the spring musical. It is run by Mr. Fink. We work our hardest to make sure the music is at its best for when we play. My favorite part about being in the pit is learning how to play the music. I think the music is very fun and exciting. My favorite part is getting to see the show before everyone else does, because then I know all the twists and turns it will take before it finishes. I highly recommend that when you come to Becca, you join the pit orchestra. I guarantee that you will have a fun time. Has anyone heard of Wassily Kandinsky? Wassily Kandinsky was a Russian painter and art theorist. Kandinsky is generally credited as a discoverer of abstract art. Does anyone know what abstract art is? This style of art is not realistically representational of objects in the natural world, but rather uses color and shape to show its simpler design. Kandinsky felt color in his mind, spirit, and soul. In his books, he described his own perspective on how colors interacted with each other and with the observer in detail, which was very poetic. Kandinsky was a synthesty in which he could hear colors and see sounds. You will also be hearing some beautiful sounds from the Golden Hawk Band. You'll be hearing the Golden Hawk Band play one fast and energetic piece of music and one slower and more serious piece of music. Enjoy. Thank you.
Hello, my name is Aidan Michels, and I am a junior here at Bethlehem Catholic. I attended Our Lady of Perpetual Help grade school, and today I will be your host for the Becca High Bando Bash Game Show. The game show will work somewhat like this. You guys will hear a group of instruments called a family. Now after all of the instruments in this selected group or family is shown and heard, you will hear a sound from one of those instruments. Then I will ask you a question and you will have to guess which instrument you heard from this question. Are you ready? Go! Hi, I'm Casey. I'm in 12th grade. I play the flute and the piccolo, and I'm the flute section leader, which means I'm in charge of the flute players. I'm Christina. I'm also in 12th grade and play the flute. Both the flute and the piccolo are part of the woodwind instrument. Today, we will demonstrate these instruments for you. Here's what the flute sounds like. This is the piccolo. It's much smaller than the flute, but much higher and louder. If you decide to play the flute, then you can learn to play the piccolo once you get to high school. Now, together. Now we will play something for you guys. Try to guess what song this is. If you guessed, do you want to build a snowman from the movie Frozen? You are correct. I hope to see you as a future flute member of the Golden Hawk Band. Hi, I'm Isabella and I'm in 11th grade at Bethlehem Catholic. I play the clarinet, which is the instrument you see here. This would be considered a woodwind instrument because of the little reed that we used to play it, this little piece of wood on the mouthpiece. Even though it's smaller than most other instruments, that just means it can play even higher. But even though it plays high, it can also play in a variety of different ranges. For example, it can play low like this. Or it can play a little bit higher than that like this. But it can play even higher than that like this. One of the best things about clarinet is that it can play any way you want it to. It can play soft or loud, fast or slow, and it can play jazz music or classical. I hope that you choose to play the clarinet next year when you get to pick your instrument because I might be a little bit biased, but I think it's the best instrument out there. Thank you. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Morales, class of 2022, and I am a member of the Golden Hawk Band at Bethlehem Catholic. I play the bass clarinet, which belongs to the clarinet family. The clarinet and the bass clarinet are basically the same. They both have mostly the same fingerings, and it's just that the bass clarinet is significantly larger and it can hit lower notes. Um, they are both members of the woodwind family, meaning these instruments have small pieces of wood called reeds that create their sound when they vibrate. The bass is usually the low voice in most concert pieces because of its ability to hit deeper notes. Here's an example. I really enjoy this instrument because it, it's so much fun and it gives me so many opportunities to enhance my musical abilities. The sound it creates is just so beautiful and powerful. Thank you so much. Hi, my name's Louise, and I'm in 11th grade at Bethlehem Catholic. I play the alto saxophone. It's a woodwind instrument because of the reed, this little piece of wood that you use to make sound. The saxophone is really cool because you can play really high notes and really low notes too. You can play like this, or like this, which makes it really great for all types of music. And I hope to see you playing an instrument in a couple years too. Hi, it's John again. I'm still in 10th grade, but I'm no longer out of the cold. I'm here to give you an inside look at the instrument that I play in band, the baritone saxophone. I really love playing the berry because it makes a really cool, really low sound with a very powerful feel. 
but I can do so much more than just play low notes. <laughs> I can have some real fun with this thing, and I'll show you what I mean with a little tune. <laughs> And in a large ensemble like the Golden Hawk Band, low instruments like the Barry Sax are used to keep the tempo going, and help the whole band and, uh, and audience really feel the beat. In most of the music we play, my role is similar to the tuba or the bass guitar in a rock band. It's usually a background part, but it really drives the sound. But when I do get the spotlight, oh man, is it just awesome! How should I mean with a part from a personal favorite of mine? You may have heard it before. Alright, that's all I got now. I hope you've enjoyed everything that you've seen and heard so far, and will continue to for the rest of the video. Bye bye Which woodwind instrument did you hear? The correct answer is the flute. Now we will introduce the brass instruments. Hi, I'm Shao Yoder. I'm in 12th grade at Bethlehem Catholic, and I'm trumpet section leader in the band. Right here I have a trumpet, and I'm sure a few of you are familiar with what type of instrument this is. As you can see, I'm sure you are aware that uh, it has three, only three uh, notes. So it, it does come in handy, but the challenges are all in the mouth, but I'm sure you can overcome them just like I did. So the beauty of a trumpet is that you can use it to play all ranges of music. Slow, soft, fast, loud. It, it really, it can do mostly any range that you want it to. And so that's the beauty of it is that it really is an all around great instrument. It can cover almost any song. So right now I'm going to demonstrate to you uh, a little piece from our field show this past year from Star Wars. I'm sure some of you will be familiar with it. And this would be an example of a slow, soft volume sound. So that was one of our little pieces from the field show. Um, one of my personal favorites. I love Star Wars. And uh, now I'll show you something that goes a little faster and we're allowed to play louder. This is our Golden Hawk song that we play during football games to get everyone hyped up. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the little crash course on trumpet and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Hi, my name is Abby Quinn. I'm a junior at Becca High and I perform in both the Golden Hawk Marching Band and Performance Band. So I play the trumpet, the French horn, and the mellophone. And this here right here is the French horn. It's a very large instrument and I got into playing it by first playing the trumpet, which you might start off playing too. It's similar to a trumpet that has three keys and a mouthpiece, but it's a lot larger and you have to hold it differently as well. Now, I'm still learning how to play this instrument because it is very difficult and I challenge you to try this when you're in high school if you're interested. And we only play this during performance pieces, but we also have a marching season and we don't play this during our marching season. We play the mellophone during our marching season. The mellophone is a large trumpet basically. It has that structure, but it has the same sound as a French horn because of the big bell. So it has a deeper, richer sound that you don't get from many other instruments. Now 
Now I like both of these instruments because they expand my knowledge on the trumpet and brass instrument. And I just like learning a new instrument. It's fun to try and I recommend you try it too. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Patrick Kaur and I'm in the 11th grade at Bethlehem Catholic High School. The instrument I have before you is the marching tuba, also known as the sousaphone. The sousaphone is the biggest and baddest instrument in the brass family. Like all brass instruments, it has a mouthpiece that makes it, that you can make a sound just by itself by busting your lips through it. Now by putting the mouthpiece back into the sousaphone and pressing the bells, you can play a wide variety of notes. I personally think that the sousaphone is one of the coolest instruments in the band. Now the main job of a sousaphone in the band is to play all the harmonies and bass lines. Now just because it doesn't always get the melody, that doesn't mean it can't play anything cool, like what I'm about to show you. And that's the sousaphone. Which brass instrument did you hear? You heard the tuba. Listen to that deep sound. Now time to show off the string instruments. Hi, my name is Hannah Young and I am from the class of 2022 at Bethlehem Catholic and I also play electric bass in the Golden Hawks Marching Band. Music to me is more than just music theory and work ethic and I am very happy to be a part of a band that shows the appreciation for creativity and the roots of music as well. This is my bass and this is what I play for in school rehearsals and on the sidelines at football games. Here are the basics of bass guitar. It consists of four tuning knobs, four strings, 20 frets, with many different tunings and distortions. And to play with the band in school, so we're heard, we are going to need a power amp. Without an amp, this is what it'll sound like unplugged. Not the prettiest thing in the world. But when it's plugged in, it sounds like this. Bass guitars get untuned very easily. They can get untuned by the weather, by overuse, by misuse, and by messing with these things up here. Especially if you're at a football game in the cold, it is a very smart idea to keep a tuner on you at all times. And if it starts to rain or snow at a football game, it is a very good idea to put your instrument away and not play for the rest of the game. And to cover up your amp with a plastic bag, a blanket, or a jacket. There are four main notes on the bass guitar from these four strings. The closest one to you and the thickest one is going to be an E. The second closest one to you next to the E in the middle between E and D is A. After A is D. And the thinnest and highest note on the bass is G. Of course, all the other frets stand for all the other notes. So there's going to be an E, an F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, so on. These dots on the fretboard make it easier for me to know which note I'm on because it always goes in threes. Three, five, seven, nine, so on. Sometimes your instrument is out of tune. You can buy a tuner on your phone or you can get a little clip-on tuner that'll go up here. These knobs will help you keep the bass in tune. And it's not gonna be in the same position every time because I have already made that mistake as a rookie bassist to make sure they were all in the same position, but it's gonna look different every time. So another cool fact about bass is that you can design your pick guard to be whatever color and whatever design that you want. You can take this off using the bolts and a screwdriver and replace the pick guard to be any color and design that you want. I personally like the way the teal and the red look together, so I picked a red pick guard. You may hold your base in any position you feel comfortable, nobody is judging. It's advised though by many musicians that you learn to play the bass with your right hand, with your second and third finger for easier transitions and to play faster. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I influenced you to pick up the bass guitar even if it's not in the Becca band. Hi, my name is Alice Frank and I'm a sophomore and a member of the Bethlehem Catholic Orchestra. This is a violin. A violin is a member of the string family and is the highest sounding instrument in the orchestra. It is composed of four strings. The G string, which is the lowest. The D string. The A string. 
and the E string, which is the highest. To play the violin, you place your fingers on the string in various patterns to create different notes. Here's a D scale. progress you'll be able to start playing more familiar tunes like this one. Thank you and I hope to see you as a member of the Bethlehem Catholic Orchestra. Hey there guys and gals, I'm Rhi, a junior here at Becca and I'm part of the orchestra. My instrument is the viola, and it looks like this. As you can see, it's like a violin, but it's just a bit bigger, giving it a deep and unique sound. It plays differently than most other instruments, playing in the alto clef rather than the treble clef. I chose the viola because it was right between the high-pitched violin and the low-pitched cello. As the king of strings, it's the perfect medium between the two. It's used in an ensemble to find a perfect little melody. And with that being said, I hope you have a great art and music day. <laughs> Which string instrument did you hear? You heard the viola. Now time to hear from our percussion section. Hi, my name is Alina and I'm in 11th grade at Becca. I play the piano. So see, you can play notes all the way up here and all the way down here. It's really fun because over the summer I can play all of my favorite songs. I think that instruments are a lot more fun when you master them enough to be able to play songs that you love. So I'm going to play a song for you guys that I absolutely love and I think you guys know. So here it is. Did you know what song that was? It was the introduction of Let It Go from the big Disney movie Frozen. So... Piano is really cool because you can play high notes and low notes at once. I don't know. It's a really cool instrument. So when I was five, my dad gave me lessons because he was a great piano player. I strongly suggest you take lessons. I do not think you'll regret it. I hope you pick piano next year and hope to see you at Becca. Bye. Hi there. My name is Brett Fryer, percussion section leader in the Becca High Band. Today, my associates and I in the percussion section We'll be demonstrating all the many kinds of percussion instruments that we offer in the Becca High Band. I like playing the drums and percussion in general because of all these many different kinds of instruments and all their differences. But first, what is percussion? Hi there, my name is Emma Smith and I'm a snare drummer. I like being a part of Drumline because not only do we play the rhythm, but we're basically the backbone of the band. Percussion instruments are instruments that are struck in some way to produce a desired tone. The key difference in these instruments from other instruments is that one does not have to blow into them. So what kind of percussion instruments can someone play in the Becca High Band? Hi there, I'm Louisa John, Pit Percussion Section Leader. I like playing the bells because they're an overall unique instrument and I love the sound that comes from them when hit by a mallet. There are three kinds of percussion one can play in the Becca High Band. First, there is battery percussion. Second, there is mallet percussion. And third, there is auxiliary percussion. Battery percussion is the first group of percussion and primarily consists of the snare drum and bass drum, but also includes other drums, such as the high and low toms. Traditionally, these drums are struck using a wooden drumstick, as such, on the membrane. This drum here is a snare drum. What separates the snare drum from the other drums is the distinctive sound produced by the rattle of the snares. I'm going to demonstrate that for you with this simple lick.
hear the difference? The sharp tone is used to keep time and lends itself very well to both marching and concert band, both of which are offered in the Becca High Band. Colin plays the tenor drums, quad toms, or quints, whatever he feels like calling them that day. They are part of battery percussion. Here he is playing a crowd favorite, Jig 2. My name is Colin and I'm in 12th grade and I play the quince drums. Now the quince drums are a really cool part of the percussion family. As you can tell, there are five drums and they all sound a little bit different. Listen. This is because they're all different sizes and the tuning is different which allows them to have different pitches and tones. Now this is extremely helpful because when you're playing drums you want to have different rhythms and this allows you to have more variety in the sound of rhythms. So for example, if I were to play a rhythm on only one drum, it will sound different if I happen to play it on a bunch of drums. Pretty cool, huh? This allows us to be more expressive in our music and allows the audience to enjoy it even more. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of the Art of Music Day and I hope to see you playing an instrument someday. Mallet percussion is the second group of percussion and primarily consists of mallets and bells. These instruments have varying tones that can be played on the various keys, similar to that of a piano. However, unlike a piano, these keys are struck using mallets as opposed to the hands. Mallets and bells lend themselves to both marching and concert percussion and are commonly used in the structures of both harmony and melody in the songs we play here in the Becca High Band. Hi, my name is Libby Gooman and I'm in the percussion section in Becca's band, which means I'm a pretty versatile musician. Auxiliary percussion is the third group of percussion. It consists of many different instruments, such as cymbals, triangle, tambourine, and many others. These instruments provide effects that enhance an audience's listening experience by adding depth to the piece. Auxiliary percussion is mostly used during concert band, but we also do use it on the sidelines when the Becca Golden Hawk Marching Band takes the field during football games. And those are the three different kinds of percussion that we offer in the Becca High Band. Hopefully you've learned something today, and we hope to see you join the drumline soon. Which percussion instrument did you hear? You guys just heard the snare drum. Time for the bonus round. Are you ready? Go! Which instrument did you hear? Alright, it's great to see you guys again. Now, what did you guess for the last bonus question? Because if you guessed the alto sax, you are correct. Now, on behalf of all faculty and students that are involved in fine and performing arts, we thank you for participating in this year's virtual art and music day. You guys heard all of the instruments in their own little groups, in their own families. What if you heard all the instruments together playing as one? Are you guys ready to hear Golden Hawks?